And part of the things you mentioned, being queer, but probably many people don't know what that exactly means. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about that? So queer um, was actually used quite negatively back in the English language um, as more like someone who is odd or weird. And the wonders about the queer community is that they have used that word and said, let's turn something negative into something positive. In, in general, um, what I like about the word queer is that it is it's like different and you can fill it in as, as you like. It's not fitting to the norm. And I think we all have something that we're like, yeah, but this is, I'm a bit different than, than other people. And that makes us all a bit special in our, in our own uh, right, which I personally like because wouldn't it be boring if we were all the same? My guest today, Nicolas van Elswe, a board member of Rosa Luxemburg, who is sharing his expertise and also his personal journey with us. I am so honored to hear from him, his excitement of being in the podcast, and how this has been something he has been dreaming for a long time, because he's giving him a platform to speak openly about his experiences and the LGBTQ plus community's challenges and triumphs. In our conversation, he will walk us through his own story of discovery and identity, reflecting on his early feelings of being different and the journey that led him to advocate for others. Nicholas is here to help us understand how we can all contribute to a more inclusive society. So please grab your favorite drink, settle in, and listen, learn, and be inspired by this episode in your favorite podcast platform. Welcome to the Brilliantly Branded Podcast. <laughs> 